go back to the church. Uh, no, uh, if you wanted to speed it, how do you speed it on the back? Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Have a good day, guys. All right, you too. God bless. God bless. It seems biased, but I'm not a, a charter of rights expert, but it does seem like uh, a line has been crossed. A line has been crossed. I'm not even a re religious guy. I love religious people. I do. I can't believe that we would do something so chicken shit. Why are we enforcing this? Why are they enforcing this? You don't have to. You don't have to listen. There's a lot of things that are in the criminal code that you don't have to listen to and that I never did. You can say no, Langley RCMP. Who's the big wig running that place? Allowing that. I would like to think if my boss in Langley went up to me and said, you need to go to the church and you're going to need to issue the pastor 2300 bucks. I would like to think I'd, I would just say no. I'll give him a warning, but I'm not. They hated me. They hated me for not writing tickets. I had a hard time writing tickets. I love speeding on my day off. I had a hard time to write speeding tickets. Guess how many speeding tickets I wrote? I wrote zero. The bosses didn't like me for it. I wrote warnings. Maybe a part of the reason is because I remember when my mom got pulled over and I was around seven or eight and I, she started crying. And I thought my mom was going to go to jail. She, she got a speeding ticket. She knew deep down that she couldn't afford to pay for the... It's either a seatbelt ticket or a speeding ticket. Maybe that's why I don't write them. No, no, that's not why. It's because I like speeding. There's some things you don't have to do as a cop, okay? Just like you don't have to issue a church a $2,300 ticket. Don't say you're just doing your job because you're not just doing your job. If cops are watching this, how many times have you ever given somebody a $2,000 ticket for littering? Never. But you're going to give a $2,000 ticket to a church because they're praying inside a building? If we were just doing our job, why didn't you arrest anybody for anal sex? Anal sex was in the criminal code forever. They just removed it because the millennials. They just removed it from the criminal code. If you engage in anal sex, if two guys engage in anal sex, you could have been arrestable. You could have been facing jail. Ask me how many times I enforce that. Of course, nobody does. Just because it's in writing doesn't mean, just because it is a law doesn't mean you have to enforce it. The only time you can have sex in the ass is it if you were married, if it was a husband and wife in their bedroom? That was something like that. Something really weird. Just changed it. Simple marijuana has been around. Is it simple marijuana? I don't even remember the lingo. Marijuana has been in the criminal code ever since I was a cop. If you had possession of marijuana, you're supposed to be arrested, right? taken to jail, given a court date. Not once did I, or not once did I ever see another cop arrest a kid because he had a couple of joints or charge a kid because he had a couple of joints. You would just take the joints. A lot of times you go to their house. I remember confiscating 50 to 75 plants, illegal marijuana growing plants. No charges, no ticket, no violation ticket. There's a lot of things that you don't have to do. And I don't know why they're sticking to this one. Why are they attacking a church? You should be up at Mount Washington. Does... <laughs> you could be sexual bees in a lineup, touching and molesting each other to, just to get that chair. Where's that chair? I need that chair. Like a pack of sardines. But you can't pray in a church. Eat and drink in a restaurant. Everybody around you. TV's on. I didn't hear anybody say bad pussy or anything like that. I just... I'm not understanding what Canada is doing. 
I don't get it. And I don't understand why the RCMP would enforce this. And by the way, they really did hate me for not writing tickets. They hated me for not writing tickets. I would write warnings. Port Alberni, management, staff sergeant, hated it. Langley, they hated it that I wouldn't do it. I remember being in Langley at briefing. 20 people at a table, a round table. We're all sitting around. It's not round, but it's square. We, yeah, it's square. We all, we're all sitting around. We're doing our briefing. Briefing's over. All the bosses are there, like four corporals, a staff sergeant, a sergeant. They all, st- they all stayed in the office, every single one of them. And at the end of the thing, one of the senior constables just underneath me, that was a senior constable on the watch. He goes, hey guys, tonight, everybody put in five bucks. We're going to, whoever writes the most bingo tickets on the violation ticket will win the pot. If you ever look at a violation ticket, guys, there's three areas that you could fill in. There's three boxes. If you fill in all three boxes, speeding, no N, no seatbelt, it's called a bingo ticket. And he says to me, you in Clint? And I went, no. Why not? Because I'm not a fucking asshole. Why would I spend my night ruining people's <laughs> maybe year? Just to fill in a bingo ticket? Just to fill, to be able to fill out a bunch of violation tickets? It's sick in the head. And the corporals and the sergeants, they they loved it. Bringing money in. Port Alberni. That's what the staff sergeant wanted you to do. Just wanted you to bring some money in. Warnings are just as good as violation tickets. I'm not saying I never wrote a violation ticket. 